In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate or obtain a precise p-value for a particular f-value and degrees of freedom. So in the example of the textbook, the ANOVA was performed and a calculated f-value was obtained at 15.25 and it has 2 and 69 degrees of freedom. We can use this transform compute function in SPSS to get the p-value. So all you need is a data file for SPSS. It can't be totally empty. So if you've got an empty one, just put the number one there just to get things going and click transform and compute. And then we're going to call this a P value. And we can use the function that was written over here. It's a significance F value. And I suppose an easy way to get that so that you don't have to remember to type things is to go into the function group section and find the significance function group and you can see that significance f is there and it'll tell you what you need to input as information to get the p-value so it's going to create a variable called p-value and i need to input the information once i include the significance function you just have to double click it and it shows up in here numeric expression so now i need to put the quantity of the f value which was 15.25. So I can write 15.25. And now I need the degrees of freedom, so comma, and it was 2 and 69, 269. And we click OK. And SPSS has created a variable called p value. And you can see that it's 0 .00000327 which is what was reported in the textbook as well. So that's how you can calculate a precise p-value for a given f-value. Now I'll note that you don't have to do this because there's a much easier way to calculate an entire ANOVA in most stats programs, including SPSS. This would just be that case where you might have to do some hand calculations to get an f-value, and you then need to calculate a p-value for it. Well, this is one way to do it. 